ke bodybuilding kedai ke jinglek kai babun ni sang tenat nomor ni yo ya ke met ke part ke bai tenat ke dok sa ba khlan bat ke pen fitru habang phong ya ki jang ki nam bat ban yo ek ni baro ni dan kam ban pelai jingmet ha balik kai ya ka thana mangin yo ha ke benta mangi kwa bat kan tre kam omban sura khia sem dan jingmet na lor ke rukam ban ra ni dan kam ru ban sngau thu bha ya la ke bor met kat no ban ra ban yai kat kum ki por bat samai da ka met kelala ban pediang ban ra kat kum ke jingla bat khia ki wit ha ke ni ki busut ban menta ni nya phai pat sha ke ke benta kata kumdo bandra agurkom jangka vertical pull techniques na menta ka upper body kabana yai ki por ni ket khia bha ya ka ka khia ha ki ngim ka body building ka dei ka wei na ki sports ke ba ki khna samla bot wat ke rang ba ru ki be ba ha ke ni ke jup menta menta ngi don ha ke ni ke fitness trap gym jayau ke bari ke we ni ke gym ha ke jala ke bala pau ba bat ke bala abyang narong chirong ki tiar ha ke ni ke episode menta in wara chi phi ya ke pull methods jong ka upper body bat ha ka pull methods ke den artly ki techniques kata ke dei ka horizontal bat ka vertical menta ngi pha sha sha ka vertical methods ha ke ba ringkat ban ngi ni dan ya i gregory simli i bedei i coach and strength and conditioning iban pen i benia hangi by day but kene okay greg once again welcome to the show man and thank you so much greg ha i ko ban tip sha kniat by day baka pull method so pull method menta sing in le ya ka based on ya ka back ma since ni practice menta ya ka bodybuilding and fitness industry ta kene ka industry basically ni focus by ke muscle group the as a strength and conditioning specialist the ngam the lay bhai kata tamba at the same time kene ke movement of pull ke bangi ni tan am ni penon kam bhai ka back so in that same area we will apply it then ni apply kene ke rukom bangi split ru r r type mo which is horizontal but vertical tamu da ka ke ke mat jungi ke dam shakhmat in a movement where ka weight ka don chapo and ngi long parallel ba ka madan and ha ka jo upor another method is da ka bangi ying where the end exercise ngi ngi long ying bit straight mo or apart from that also ka resistance ka one the lord where it's in a straight motion ne straight parallel ya ka madan the in this way ngi ye split ye ka exercises and of course ngi la ban le continuous only horizontal or only vertical tamba it's best ban bo mixture uh two horizontal one vertical uh basically for any beginner ro kan longam ta he okay and ya kata ro kom ro ka jam no ba since ka mat jungi ro ka back jungi ka split like mainly like part upper middle lower ngi nyo bro lai ho jop por ta men ta sing ngi practice various exercises and ngi pen le overall ngi ni like to give major parts so um very much excited to learn the techniques greg let's not waste our time pun you know and la pa pun tip ya tikma julong shwa bangin kita e giwit what juklet ban le ka warm up dan mentang nya pecha kindet by day ki warm up the greg pun i sing warm up shopping poi sha come on so mentang sing le ki pull mo so since we doing pull most of the movement bagi le am we starting with vertical of course the most of the movement bagi le will be a hinge movement which is this will be using ka hip jungi as a hinge so this movement with the hip pushes back and is rotating is a hinge ma so we'll be using that so obviously for ngile warm up ruk yang long ready ya kan ya the lower body ka core and a little bit of the shoulders so first of all first root, uh, dynamic warm up is this just for your wrist just get them ready stretch them out hmm and now we'll start with the first drill which is atlas lunges mo atlas lunges is for the low body ka kajat and at the same time your upper body rotation mo so this is how you do it feet together hands up one step ahead rotate e ka trang jo ka rotate ka upper body jo ka rotate at the same time ka kajat jo ka lunge forward same movement okay then the next hand rotate 
very simple right leg turn right get back left leg turn left now that was the first dynamic drill no second dynamic drill part yeah come come on feet together again you'll take a step back part can you pick in called lateral lunges lateral lunges is you see i'm to shed you back step to the side hmm so front foot have a long firm by can you front foot bend the knee take a step back to the side hands in ahead number one counter balance down that these are lateral lunges very important bring in uh, ready your uh, glutes the hamstring the quads so can you exercises mentang in line up begin to lateral key lunges for the low body mentang in sedang so your hip so basic stretching tama at the same time also this is a little bit of a dynamic drill no so on your knees hands hak mat right foot out till sedian ha huh. till sedian rotate ka ankle da very simple tama kene pat long ha bele kham ski hindet ken namar ba if you have a problem ba ka hip kene kan se pan pa kene stretch now the other leg see the wider knee on the mat other foot straight ha huh? hands on the mat so should do two three four five now now ni menta in a very simple simple warm up which is just simple burpees hmm so push up squat and jump very simple not too much of power ni handuk kata kata just to warm up the body a bit hmm so simple so those are just basic warm ups each exercise at least 5 reps per exercise you can do two rounds of the drill okay those are your warm ups now we'll start with the basic main set also very important part of the dynamic drills kare kare ka natural movement jo kar le hip jo ka jab so very simple how to get that warm up is one hand in the side this also at the same time will be dynamic namar ba you'll be balancing on one leg ma your single leg balance is also very important na kare ka exercise actually any warm up so one hand on your hip another hand thumbs up so as to make sure that you have a counter balance ma so it's very simple just forward kick side kick back okay this is the natural movement jonga kejat he in any cases so always remember ben lai kinero even if it's just for the upper body also if you do this kajayu ba the body ro kolong ready low body ro kolong ready ke hmm hand on your hip thumb up forward side back as you can see mentaru nga ka ka right jonga ka balance ka ka thot so obviously if i don't practice such a movement it'll get worse karao for anyone who's looking for fitness as a part of the you know day to day life they should never neglect ikini small things like balance jong ka mat ka phat jong ka khajat even in the cemetery also that also matters and that's very simple right but very effective mentang in is dang ka main set obviously when it comes to pulls the first main pull which you need to be able to do is a chin up or a pull up so first exercise body weight is this so mentang ang le ka not so wide grip ang le at least ka grip ka body little wider than my shoulders put my shoulder back lift myself up this pull up. and this is a pull up okay feet are together put your shoulders back and pull all the way up. now let me show a chin up shoulder back cut this is chin up literally ta handuk kat kat tama that's your chin up now ke bila wan chin chin ni dai ka grip can do a reverse grip where in your bhai ka arms but then at the same time also other feet ko le way through plan le way sakane but not advisable for now 
Now, on the way up to your chest, shoulders back and to your chest. That is the first exercise of body weight which you require in pulls, which is a pull up. Mentang in your so you second exercise. Second exercise is a pull down of with resistance band. Now, kening ila mle either with a machine or with this resistance. The mentang in sedang shwa the resistance band because ka fire come close. The mentang in your penon kami ba hilarious. Namar ba ngamla amdan borso tengin. Pinigi cues, ki techniques of FIPA. Ma, apcha. Momentar singin penon kam ni kini, which we call resistance tubes. Tubes, for this reason. We can use this, the band row, tambah ngimlong mele, the U loop band, U berit. Kini tu penon kam ni tigo band ber, cerong kan? So, hold the grip, ni tigi grip ki belah donapa, and do on one knee. Okay, now. Kene dekat neutral grip, where your thumb is facing each other, face each other ke thumb. Nanang ni ya, put your shoulders back together, and just pull. Tangan tu, tangan tu fire dekat ni. So, ah, now this is one grip. Now another grip is pronated. This is this way, and again pull. Now a little bit more in the middle. Okay. Ah, kene tekan yau baham hapo ke middle. Now. From this grip again, we can change again to supinate it, which is this way. Okay. Now this way part in happen time come wide more. So can you like extend them to here? Now pull. There. Okay. See, can you shoulder blades can be lahan jo. And these are the various grips which we use with the resistance tube. Can you go long? Tamu chu fire ya can you go large jo here? Okay. Okay. Now change the grip again to neutral grip, neutral grip. There. And Fire this exactly there. See, mm. these two shoulder blades will come together. The idea is, can you shoulder blade of he? Begin day lang. Ah, pull there. You see, token. Can you come here? Can you get a grip? Hmm. So, a supinated part, if you can't come wide into. Can you get your bike up again? So, so this is how you fire the lats before the exercise skin. So, <laughs> now let's move on yeah. to the next exercise. Oh, we're on the yoke. Correct. But that guy, it's not easy, ma. It's not easy. It's not, not easy. easy. We should always fire yeah. the, the muscle group skin. That's what that is the point of bodybuilding. It's very Firing important. The exercise, yoke. Bahkan long correct kalau kamu le, dua es kamu dan jumpa tu ibu suruh rakyat eh. Rakyat yang mentor ya. You just have to get the muscle. When it comes to fitness, when it comes to bodybuilding, you have to get the muscle, not the joints. Simple as that. So now we'll go to the next exercise, okay. which is the machine exercise, lat pull down machine. So now next exercise, then you land up. You a resistance band exercise for the pull downs. In the third exercise for today, basically is the same exercise is still a vertical pull down. The main is the machine part. The machine kalle amno ba kayarap ifi ba fin biang ka form. At the same time, doesn't mean ba shu shong and shu le takal la biang bet no. There is a certain angle of the abdomen row, so to in order to target the muscle group better. Now that certain angle, when you meet that, most people in your abha can make angle here. So just for reference, in your penis, you can make it. Now keep it up, keep it long locked. How you form here? Now next, rotate the shoulder back. Okay, now you see the neck. You need to put on your neck. Ini pun pun kami kerendang, and look up, shoulders back, and just pull towards your chest. Okay, this is the exercise. Very simple. Tambah ke angle yang mana pun at least thirty degree angle, or sorry forty five degree, close to forty five, not even a forty five, because a forty five will be this much. If it's at this much part, it runs the risk of ke shoulder injury. So a little higher than that, of course. Shoulders back and pull towards your chest. This is just the exercise. And the main muscle group we target is the latimus dorsi. Latimus dorsi is the biggest muscle group in the body, upper body, which is covering the body. So instead of hitting the shoulders, you try to hit the back. Now, in order to avoid hitting the shoulder, we relax the shoulder. 
we put them back, and when we pull, we just pull them to. Where, if we are pulling with the neck, we'll do this. If we're doing this, it'll affect the neck. Now that is wrong. So just put it back, relax the neck, and just do this. The shoulder blades can one together. Once they come in together, you'll understand that it hits the exercise. It's very simple. Like I explained just now, see? When you pull them up, and when you use your neck, you're gonna be doing this. It's barely moving this. Now, if you're at an angle, the hip jump the back jump will be firing the moment he relax the neck, kumto. There. These will move your shoulder blades. Okay? Now, these were the machine resistance base, resistance band, and body weight exercises. Now we'll go to one of the major compound exercises for the pull, vertical pull, which is called the deadlift. So now next to the main compound exercise. So ni akhnek exercise ni don kamand on board ba. So kitu ki other exercises for firing of the lats and all that in order to get your body ready. Mo now the main exercise manta which is when I say compound kamut ba multiple body parts kapanon ka. Mo so that's just a reference. Second thing, kanedika deadlift. This is called the king of all exercises because kayo lo borok wega man from your neck to your uh, toes, because it requires the whole body. Now, I'll start by showing you cues. Kini ki cues ki long batai phi, kana wa pinnang gumna ban le. Mantas ki ngan le ka conventional shwa. So conventional ngan sedang shwa, na ka ba bo ya ka foot position a little wider than my hip. Ka hip jonga ka poe hen ne. So, a little wider than my hip, ubar udan pa madan. As you can see, mantas ki ngan ra hen dit ya ka plate, Nako madan na marba is better for cushioning. And secondly, it's easier to teach also at this height. Hmm. Now, wider than my hip, une ubar udiban shong in the middle of my foot. Huh. So if it's not sitting in the middle of my foot, what happens is then the center of gravity jong ka bar and my body, it will make me fall ahead. Kan penhap yang ashkmat. So obviously, middle of my foot, and you need to do the labia hand top of middle of the foot, your hand position. Hand position should be in such that can make a grip jumpy, elbows jumpy will not be too far out. So, nangne ru is another way of checking your foot position. You sit all the way down, okay? Your knees will be at your shoulder width, okay? Knees at shoulder width, keep the bar ahead. Automatically, ubar undon in the middle of your foot. Okay. Now, ka grip jong ka kti part menta ni le little wider than the shoulder. Okay. Little wider than the shoulder. And for this purpose, menta ngang le ka hook grip, which is like this. Not necessary. You can do this grip also, but safest is hook grip. Okay. Now, like I said, elbows out. Now, ngan I'll start getting my hip ready. So a little high up. Where kini kilap nun kam lupa. Now in this position, I sit back a little bit. Pull the bar a little bit up. Hands straight. And from this position, I just stand up tall. That is a deadlift. Okay? Now in this position, my shoulders are retracted. Okay? And I just hinge. And that is a deadlift. That is a hinge movement. That's what we train. Bar is close to the shins, so that the bar does not pull me ahead. Okay. So that was conventional deadlift. And for the next exercise, uh, sorry, next grip, we are going to call hilarious who will show us a power lifting method, most probably a sumo, squat, a sumo deadlift. And we will uh, show different cues of that exercise also. Because grip, how you face forward and all that, okay? Okay, so 
Bentang hil, bentang okay. harap dengan abang ke ni ke. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Bentang ini lihat semua. Semua. So, Alah. Thanks, Craig. This is one of my favorite exercises. So, so as you can hear, the main thing with okay. the MMU yang tu yang tu. So the main thing with the sumo stance is you're at a stance where you're like a sumo fighter, which is why. Oh. This much? Now, ki ki heels you okay? Pointed towards the bar. Kuto. Oh. Okay. See, now yeah. that way, u bar udan hajan yang lebih. Hi, hi. So. You know what that means. That means that you grab the jump, you can then change the command. Okay. Okay. Now, please squat down. Look at your shoulder width. Look at your shoulder width. Shoulder width. Ah. Put this in. Okay. Now, you grab the jump, what you're comfortable with. Okay. Okay. So, you can put on that. Now, chest out. Okay. Now, use the jump, you can push. Okay. One, two. Easy, yeah? That is a sumo stance, okay? Try not to use your back. Okay. Try not to round it. How you stop rounding is you take out your chest. Okay. Then ah. Use your legs to push it up. Okay. Okay. One, two, up. Ah. You can use more force. You can. Okay. Can you help? Okay. Use that force. Okay. Don't come in here to push more. Okay. Okay. So this is a sumo stance. The benefit of a sumo stance, I'm, for you, for your height. Not that much of a benefit, mm -hmm. but for a height like mine, actually mine also is still not that much benefit. Anyone who's above six feet, anybody who's above six feet, the benefit of a sumo stance is the ka bar part. Oh, okay. Kaduna. So what happens is if the the bar part is less, the person can lift more. The person can lift better, of course. But at the same time, also uh, he has to have good uh, quad strength. Okay. Quad leg strength. Can. Or kamu pilih mentan ro, so tu yang perlu kita cari. Now that is why this is a compound exercise. Even though it is a back exercise, okay, most of the deadlifts are back exercises. You're still using your legs also. In order to push the bar up, you're still using the bar, the legs. See, when you're standing wide from the arm, very easy for the center of gravity to come into play. Makan dalam ini hancur. Now nang ni, heels up kita perlu makan. Toes kita perlu makan. Grip for me, this is fine. Shoulder width, shoulder key, shoulder so on. Key retract, my shoulder will pop. Now, now near part as I'm already kind of squatting, parallel squatting near that. I just get my hip ready. Into, see, slightly up and straight and just. Get it? Yes. Very simple. Sumo stance is a very easy stance where it helps one kyoka power. See? Upright bit. Flani. Tama. The only problem with sumo stance is that if you don't problem with the hip. Okay. That if you don't problem with the hip, one um pat dragon. Okay. So for that reason, mentang in the next exercise, which is called rack pulls. Rack pulls. Rack pulls is Let's just say long kung balik half the deadlift. Pio tayo ka upper back bar. Not your lower body. Not your hips so much. Kan suwi ka ipi kung naman hinge, ah? And kung naman lift. Kung naman le long ready ka kung mat, bakan pull kung to. Ka vertical pull. Okay. Okay. That we can do as a lighter weight. We'll use the Smith machine in this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now next exercise. Since uh, deadlift is a little bit more advanced exercise, mo, the, we are in a gym setup. up okay? so, one of the exercises in the gym setup up train the deadlift. These are called rack pulls. Mo, rack pull are a little bit halfway of the full compound movement of a deadlift. And as you can see, deadlift should always do it barefoot. So it's better for the Proprioception. Mo, the menta wearing shoes. So the first exercise, first cue, the menta kene is my feet should be ahead of the bar. Okay, feet is a little bit ahead of the bar. My thighs are engaged, meaning kilalong ready kene. Knees slightly bent. Okay, glutes tight. Grip little wider than ka shoulder. Okay, now kene ka grip menta long ready. And see, kemet jangan kadang cemat, 
So, the only thing I need to do is just stand straight. Into. Now, as I stand straight, obviously, along my tilt shadin am. So, in order to train the hinge, we have to tilt shadin kandit. Kanaman yo ban hikai kanekin, the movement of the hip, which is pushing it back. So, this is the main movement which ni don kam namanta the deadlift training. Lado kana umpar la ban le ka deadlift training. I mean the lift full deadlift. La ban sedang shor kani. Shoulders back. Hip out. That's very simple. Tangkum nehi. Kinis kinumber na foot position kan nebe ha jo. Tama tang ka apa ka low back kan move and ka hip. Shoulders retracted. Okay, and just that. Now, that is a rack pull. Now, from this same position, we can train with dumbbells. Okay, with dumbbells, we can teach the hinge movement also. After this, at least we can use that. And for people at home also, they can move straight the dumbbell bit. Next exercise, hill. Pini menta ya ke exercise bagi laban leh yang ru ya ke jaw movement hinge movement, which is for the vertical pull. Mo, this dumbbell deadlift. Okay. So ni ni sim dumbbell belong comfortable. So ten kilos. So from the ground, just ready ke hip, chest out, stand straight. Now the feet a little bit at the stance of your hip. Mo kejeng yar. Kat kesengkai he kejeng yar. Now, roll back, just out, and just hinge. Okay, the moment we sew to our hamstring, that's more than enough. Okay, now this is something we learn at Hyang Ro. Teaches the same movement, which is a vertical pull. Ah, very easy to dumbbell. Nomor dua, ubar ulong jenjar he ke movement pattern of course. Unipat di bawah meja side. If you don't have your side, come so. Two. And three. Ta. Now, this is the last exercise of Mentang in your layer. So, the last exercise for vertical pull, straight arm pull downs. Okay. Straight arm pull downs, you can do it in the gym. It's a very simple movement. You can use the cable here. Hmm. Straight up. And the weight to him don't come and let him pull on. Twenty-five kgs, fifteen to twenty-five kgs is more than enough. So yeah, you can take this kind of a take bar over straight. Ngan pini ngan ubar ubah ham hancan. Yeah, you can take that. Yes, that one. So this is straight bar, wider bar. This is narrow bar. So what happens is, ni am cili atom ni, but. Go back, go even long arch, and it okay. A little wider, go stands okay. Then come sit in, and it and head down and just pull. P, go last strong up here. It's only with the back we pull. Come back a day, go thing to go exercise straight arm. Take it easy, even bend, bend, bend. Okay, this is how you hit. Just your lats. Try. If you unbat, come white, but can. But white, okay. So, one come again. That arch go back. Come slow and it. Come slow and it. All right. That baby chop up and pull slowly. Try and pull bigger to. See wider grip. What happens is with the wider grip, you get this more. Okay, the V taper. Okay. Narrow grip is just for you, but nangkin. So you feel this. Yes, yes. Token. You see this is how you uh, hit the lats directly. So for this reason, the risk of injury for the shoulder row is done. Ma, the man don't come like here, You have to do a board mail jong row. But if you done prior injury, the man don't come like here. Mark any data no matter kine. So, okay. So with that exercise. There are many more exercises. Can you bun shoot the exercise? Yeah, yeah. Can you make a vertical pull? The 
we cannot cover everything. Mm. Otherwise, it'll take the entire really? day. <laughs> so, can you vertical pull menta in your conclude on the Okay. Okay. Di yang aku lapan menteri hadu kata kamu boleh balik kaya ka bodybuilding, apa ngapai itu techniques, nama tak kaya exercises, bebon. But ngangit skem kelapan menteri ye pilih ke balik kaya ka bodybuilding. But pindi kena apa pilih kaya berobor, apa pindi okarek, ye kino kino kaya exercises, but pindan ye ki trainer, ki batibet hajan jupi, ye lese kelapan warna sekejap mesau. Katu ngilak poi siapa kot jokan ke besar bade baka vertical pull, hadu insai kendo kian pi, but ki wek ke besar kiban wan, stay tuned and stay fit.